There's something here that is worth mention. Page 11 is a big debate. Uh, um, I usually like highlighting this one because it's usually supposed to give us two sides of, of, uh, of an issue. On page 11, agency still unable to rein hitmongers. This is Kaparo's agency. Mm. Um, and uh, here we have Olago Luoch saying the intentions of forming the commission were good, but it has remained a toothless bulldog that cannot bite. And then Kaparo says we also <coughs> must tell our politicians that they need to tone down to enable Kenyans to make a rational decision. I, I, I think one of these days we do need to invite Kaparo here. I've, I've never gotten what his job is is yeah. <laughs> because every time he speaks michael he is telling us that he is incapable of doing anything about a very serious situation mm. Th this is not the place where we are supposed to be saying um so and so should do this so and so this is a place where we need definitive action, action. Mm. and if kaparo cannot give us that definitive action then i think he cannot be running around saying, I cannot do anything about this. I think he should be the first person to suggest that we need to disband that commission and he goes home. Mm. The fact that he says we also, we also must yeah. tell our politicians yeah. that they need to tone down to enable Kenyans to uh, make a rational decision. I feel that they forget the fact that they need to begin with these politicians. They need to begin with and they and, are these and, symbols of either unity or division yes. in the country. And there is no question of telling our politicians. He should be in a position of making the politicians, okay, not telling them. It, Actually, should, it, sounds, yes. it sounds like uh, literally delegating. Delegating, yes. Yeah. Because so if you say we also yeah. should tell our politicians, exactly. who is we? Who is we? Describe we. Yes, and, and what are you telling them about? This, these politicians are rogue. We know who they are. We know what they are capable of. If the commission cannot stop them, if it cannot make them behave, then the commission That's a question is of uh, what resources NCIC has to their disposal yeah. uh, when it comes to um, achieving convictions in hate speech. Not very yeah. long ago, we had an incident with uh, uh, Aidan Duale when yeah. he came to Garissa. Yeah. And it was an allegation, of course, of an audio clipper. He was saying that uh, Kambas will have to leave uh, Garissa yeah. town uh, should he be MP. And those were still allegations. But yeah. there was that audio clip. Yeah. And uh, should they have had the right technology, the right instruments, they would yeah. have been able to verify yeah. and tell Kenyans whether this was aid and value or not. But yeah. we haven't seen NCIC really come out and do that. We, we, th this, this is a commission that would have to make an account of itself, mm -hmm. especially if things do not work out for the country, because you cannot be running around telling people that you're powerless. If you're powerless, please go home and let somebody else do the job, or let's disband the whole thing altogether. Absolutely, and it's look a, for yeah. a, a solution, because at the end of the day, we need peace in this country, yes. and we do know that some of the politicians that we have are the ones who actually yes. bring up the chaos through what they say. Absolutely.